friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming at you with another video. And that today we are going to do episode two of our decklist series. And today's deck is going to be coming from the world of Magic the Gathering. And what we're going to be doing is a filthy casual deck. I call it the Herd. It is based off of Orox, originally released from the Ice Age expansion. I always kind of liked it. I like the fact that basically all Orox gain the ability that whenever they attack, it gives plus one, plus zero till end of turn for each other attacking Orox. I was very happy to see these. I put four bull Orox. They're a two one trampling creature. Uh, I like all Orox. They cost green and then they have trample along with that plus one plus O ability. Next we have four Rhymehorn Orox. And these guys have a snow ability. Unfortunately, I don't have enough snow land and forest is something we'll upgrade at some point because just little things like that can make a major difference to force the block. It also has all the similar abilities that every other Orok has. It's a 3-3 three, three for 5 mana. Next, we have the Orok Herd. This right here is probably the most powerful of the Orok for 6 mana. But what it does is it lets, allows you when it enters play to tutor up another Orok. So you can continue to sp chain spam out Orok. As you can imagine, this deck's very expensive, mana cost-wise. Next we have are the original OG Ice Age Orox, costing four. And as you can see, so that makes up 16 cards of the deck are just Orox. All right, then we have land. And we just went with regular old forests. Eventually I'll replace it with snow forests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20. A standard deck for 60 cards. And a key thing, like I said, is early game, this deck's very expensive. So we wanted to have ways to get more land out. So I put two Harrows, two Nature Lores, and four Rampant Growths. And that should help spam out the land in order to start puking out the big boys. Then your Finishers. We have two of them. Overrun and Triumph of the Hordes. As you could imagine, if you drop an or Overrun and then a swing with like five or six Orok and then hit Trample of the Hordes, you could eliminate two to three players in one shot with Infect. Next, Noxious Revival. A uh, way to get back some of your power cards in order to continue playing them. You have Naturalize, just in case you have a trouble artifact or enchantment you need to deal with. This serves as just a way to get more creatures because you can look at the top five cards, take any creatures and put them in the, your hand. Next, we have Desert Twister. I put two of those in there. Expensive, but they'll deal with any card in play. So if you're dealing with something that's just completely wrecking the deck, boom, there you go. Then we have Gaia's Blessing. Blessing. I put this card in for two reasons. Um, first, it just gives you a little bit of draw. And then what it does is it takes you to be able to rehash cards back into your library to draw later. And then also, if someone's milling you, this will actually shuffle itself back in to hopefully help you against the mill. And last but least are your big crazy builders, the Door of Destinies. Uh, what this does is you name a creature type. I obviously would name Orox. And then every time I cast an Orox, I put a charge counter on it. And so what happens is it gets a 1-1 one, one for each charge counter on it. And as you can imagine, it does make Orox insanely big. So like I said, this deck is called The Herd. It is basically just a green stompy deck uh, based off of Orox. It's completely casual and probably would get destroyed by any serious deck. But in a multiplayer game, it is a lot of fun. And then before you know it, you're triumphing and hoarding your way to victory. So just a fun little game. So this concludes my video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can. Peace out.